it's good. Harissa? <laughs> it's spicy, like... Uh, I know what it is. We call it harissa. It's made uh, of <laughs> exactly. tomato. It's not uh, spicy. It's, it's right. like uh, sugar, red sugar. No, <laughs> red sugar. Red sugar. <laughs> What is it called? Pate? And how much is it? Dinar Sangsong. And Dinar Sangsong, one dinar and a half, which is half dollar. Welcome to Nomadic Bike again. Today we are starting a new series. Nadine will be joining its bike and handicrafts. We'll go to a nearby area here in Bardo near Nomadic Bike and then we'll try to have an idea about those people making mosaics. We try to learn from them because we want to start a mosaic project in our neighborhood. Are you excited? Yes. And Yes, let's do it! <laughs> we hope that the shop is open today. It's Friday. Sometimes few shops are closed, but we wish we can find them working and then we can we also be allowed to film them. So it's like around two or three kilometers from here. We ride our bikes towards this place called Den Den next to an art university and then let's see what we can find there. Thousands of hours. Thousands of hours. Yeah, like a puzzle. Can you transfer this to something else? They put, uh, like, they put like silicone, silicone or silicone? Easy. Yeah. Now we are in the mosaic world. 
workshop. <laughs> when you say Tunisia, you say olive tree. It's like our identity. So here is like arts and olive tree, mosaic and olive tree. Yeah, it's with the stones and then they, they do it here on the back. Now come see you, nice. I didn't see in the back, but now I can see how much work, yeah, yeah, yeah. how much really work it takes to, to create a mosaic. Because we just saw the front, but then in the back, look, it's just stones like this one, and then that's how they do it. They cut it, they, yeah, this is the raw material. A lot of hard work to create uh, that piece of mosaic. Here are the different stones and the marbles that they start with different colors. All these different colors. Now you can see the colors with the water. This is from a place called Chemtu in Tunisia, in Janduba. It's like 120 kilometers from here. So this is a Tunisian marble. Alicantia. This one from Italy, it's from Alicantia from Italy. Exactly like used to be like thousands of years ago between like Italy and Tunisia, like Carthage and Rome. We're still doing the same thing. And this one is from Guatemala. For one piece of mosaic, you can see like how uh, like much marble they get from so many different countries and a lot of hard work, really a lot of hard work. I didn't see this spot before, but now I can understand how, why they say it's quite hard to do it. So I can't imagine how people do that 3,000 years ago in Kardash or in Rome. Even with the, with, the, with the new materials, it's still hard. I can't imagine how it was before with all that big mosaics that we can find in Barbie Museum. <laughs> We have a place in Tunisia called Jbal Wos and uh, said that a long time ago, thousands of years ago, even the Romans when they came to uh, North Africa, they were taking marble from, uh, from that area. And we're still doing the same thing after now, like after thousands of years. This is great. So from this one, you need to cut it in one direction, the opposite direction of the roots of the marble. That's what the excitement is. Now I also understand why Carthaginians people 